you see the Kasi Inheritance of Property Bill 2021, it's only to codify and make provision for the regulation and administration of the inheritance of property among the Kasi in consonance with the prevailing practice of the Kasi Hill, of the Kasi in the Kasi Hill district. So it is a very simple bill actually. It's not a complicated one. That means it all everything it depends on the will. We feel that this is a progressive legislation. The decision of the Kasi Hills Autonomous District Council to introduce the Kasi Inheritance of Property Bill 2021 has become a topic of discussion in the state of Meghalaya, which follows a material system of inheritance. While the KHDC has stated that the bill aims at equitable distribution of property rights to every siblings, be it male or female, Women activists in the state, however, feel that this will modify and dilute the customary practices of the Kasi community. Going forward, we are going to hear some of the voices of the Kasi women here in the state of Meghalaya and listen to what they have to say regarding this matter. There is a very, very important connotation to the word customary law and practice. See, the word customary law and practice is unique in the constitution of India. And we have been mandated to protect that customary law. The KJDC bill is still not out on the public domain to my information. However, gauging from the conversations and snippets of conversations that I have been privy to on the on the uh, social media, I can only comment that ancestral rights are part and parcel of customary law and practice. We should not dabble with that. We, we understand that modern society may have a new view of things, but all of those views have to be cautiously tread upon comprehended and presented so that we do not dilute what we have inherited in the entire mass of what we call customary law and practice. If you dilute that, I fear there will be other interpre legal interpretations that could put us in trouble. I 100% agree with the District Council for the equal distribution of the ancestral property because when we talk about tradition, we cannot live in the past, we have to live in the present. So why should we give the ancestral property only to the daughters? The sons also have their rights. We cannot send the son when they get married empty-handed. So if families have got landed property, Personally, I feel they have to give equal distribution. But uh, for those who don't have, I cannot say. Because not all the, the, the Kasis have landed property. You know? We have this council to do that. No? Why should uh, we ask for a public opinion? When this council is there to protect our uh, traditional rights. We didn't touch anything about the practice, the usual practice of our custom. But only the bill will give space also for the other children of the family so that they can get a chance for those parents who are willing. The youngest daughter not only inherit the, the house of the mother or the landed property, she also has responsibility. Responsibility in the sense for those uh, unmarried brothers and sisters or the, the, what to say, the niece, the nephew. So it's not only about, now when we're talking, we're talking only about material, not about responsibility that the kaddu has to take. The Kasi Inheritance of Property Bill 2021, which will be tabled by the Kasi Hills Autonomous District Council on Monday, has garnered much attention from the public, especially the women folks of the state of Meghalaya.
Well, some of them have expressed concerns over the, uh, the failure of the KHDC to put up this bill in the public domain for further discussion and for the public to give the suggestions. Others felt that the KHDC being the custodian of the customary rights and practices of the tribals of Meghalaya has every right to do so because it will be doing it in the best interests of the public. The Shillong Times also spoke to the CEM of the KHDC who stated that the aim of this bill is for equitable distribution of the property to every sibling, be it male or female. Going forward, we are going to see how this bill is going to have an impact or is going to benefit the public or the tribals of Meghalaya. This is Iban Maori for the Shillong Times.